Oh, hey guys. This week for Weapons Wednesday, we're gonna look at some of our spring-loaded batons and actually test them out a little bit. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. So I remember, uh, it was probably the late 90s. I was in college and I went and visited this martial arts supply store and I saw one of these for the first time. It was actually this exact model here. And at that time in my life, I was really into Eskrima sticks, so I just thought this was the coolest thing I had ever seen. So I actually bought two of them, and then I unscrewed this little screw on here and took off this little handguard and turned it into an Eskrima stick. So I had two of these spring-loaded batons as Eskrima sticks. So nowadays we sell a few different versions of them, and um, I just wanted to kind of show them off a little bit. So this is the first one. This is the spring-loaded baton. And to close it, you just go like that. And then to open it, you just hit this little button, but it's actually got a safety on here. So um, you're not gonna accidentally let it open up in your pocket or something, but you undo the safety, then turn it. And it, uh, it's actually really, really a strong spring inside. So that thing just, just shoots open. Um, but I should probably introduce you to my, my dog. This is my dog, Rascal, and he's actually at work with me all the time. He sits on my lap when I'm working on stuff. Um, and he's just the sweetest little Maltese. So, <laughs> But um, a lot of people ask, well, why would you want a spring-loaded baton? What's the difference between a spring-loaded baton and then just a standard baton? I mean, there's really not much of a difference as far as speed goes. They both open at about the same rate. But what's really cool about a spring-loaded baton is you've got the additional ability to shoot this into somebody. And I know that sounds violent, but that kind of impact, hitting someone who's who you have to defend yourself against, could actually really take someone out if you needed to. So you've got that ability in addition to your normal striking ability with baton. So that's that's one of the reasons why it's so such a cool weapon. So let's look at the different spring-loaded batons that we have. So we have this guy. This is our the one that we first started carrying years ago, and I liked it a lot, but I always found myself taking off these little hand guards. Um, I mean, they're cool, but they, they're just a lot of extra size. Um, so you can't like stuff it in your pocket very easily. And, um, you know, I always found that as kind of like a negative to this product, but a lot of people like it though. I mean, it does protect your hands if, uh, if you needed it to protect your hands. But uh, a little while back, like a few years ago, we started carrying one and we call it the automatic spring baton, but it's basically the same thing. It's black instead, and um, it does exactly the same thing, but it just doesn't have the hand guard. And I just like that a lot better because it's a little more, a little smaller, um, can definitely conceal that a little bit easier. And to close these here, I'm actually just gonna move Rascal real quick. I kind of hold on to this handle here and squeeze and then it's really important that you strike straight down. And sometimes it's not easy to do. You actually have to use a lot of force to get that down because the spring is really a strong spring. So, and then you let go of the handle and then it stays. And then I usually put the safety on so it's, you know, it's not gonna open automatically on you. But we just got this new version that I'm really into. And what I like about it is these things have been out forever and no one's really re-envisioned this thing for a while. And they recently came out with this guy and it looks a little bit different. It's got this kind of honeycomb grip on it. Um, and the trigger is up top and the trigger holds on to the tip of the baton instead of the way it used to be. And what I really like about this is that trigger is so much more compact. So it's got a, a little safety switch here and so right now the safety's on, so that trigger can't be pushed. And so you could just easily just slide that into your pocket. And uh, you know, it's fairly concealed. So there's a couple of things I really like about this baton. First off, it's got this glass breaker on the end of it, which you don't see on any of the other spring-loaded batons. And that could actually come in really handy if you're ever stuck in your vehicle. And second off, it's got this wrist strap that uh, you know keeps you from dropping it. So that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, but to open it, you just take off the safety, push the trigger and it pops right open. And it's just a really nice baton. 
and it closes exactly the same way as the others. I just grab the handle, strike it down, put the safety on, and then it's nice and secure. But what I really care about is testing the durability of these. So let's go ahead and test them out. So the first thing I want to test is to see if there's enough power when this thing expands to actually bust through the side of the watermelon. So let's test that first. Okay, so if you take a look at the watermelon, you can see that this baton was actually completely strong enough to break a hole right into the side of it. But now I want to test out this new baton that we just started carrying. And I actually don't think it's gonna be able to break through the surface of this watermelon because the end cap is so much larger than the end cap on this. But let's still give it a whirl. So as you can see by using this one, this one is actually strong enough to push the watermelon, but the surface area of the tip is so large that it didn't break the skin of the watermelon. So the next thing we're gonna test is whether the baton can withstand a full strike. Now you'll notice I never tested the black one because the black one's the same thing, just doesn't have the handguard on it. So let's go ahead and test this with a strike. Okay, so as you can see, I actually launched the watermelon across the room and uh, it broke it pretty good <laughs> and the baton still looks to be in good shape but let's just make sure it still functions okay yeah still works great so let's test the new baton and see how that one does Okay, so if we look at the watermelon from that strike, it demolished it. You know, I could actually feel the power when I was using this baton. It's uh, a little bit heavier than the other baton and it just feels like you've got a really strong weapon here. So um, that just destroyed that watermelon. Well, let's just make sure it still functions properly. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so when comparing these two spring-loaded batons, it seems like there's advantages to each of them. This one seems to have a stronger spring on the inside and a smaller surface area on the end tip. So it's actually able to spring right into the watermelon. While this one seems to have a stronger shaft to it. It actually feels denser in this area. So when I was striking the watermelon, it just blasted right through it. But if you have any questions on these, definitely leave them in the comments below and be sure to check out KarateMart.com to see all of our amazing weapons. Until next week, we'll see you Weapons Wednesday.